everybody what's going on just back with an update from the um the house of commons today where uh pierre polyev did follow through with his word he did put a and if in, uh he put forward a motion of non-confidence and of course uh didn't go as well as we wanted it to of course we wanted it to pass so that there could be an election but it looks like we're not going to get it because it was voted no so i just have a little bit of information here this is going to be a pretty quick video before i get into it though please don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps grow the channel and if you don't mind leaving your comments in the comment section as well as it really does help with client or, sorry uh, viewer engagement and i also enjoy uh, reading and replying to you guys as well so the conservative this is from polling canada it says conservative con confidence motion is defeated nay 211 yays 120 so basically the Conservative Party voted in favor of having the election and every other party combined teamed up and stopped it from happening. Because apparently in this country, in this democracy, our bosses or sorry, our employees get to decide for us when we can hire and fire them. Now, I understand that's always the case. We do have elections, but we should be able to decide. And again, I put forward this other idea. I really want to hear your opinions on it. I think that as soon as a prime minister's approval rating drops below, and we, again, we can negotiate the number, whether it's 30%, 25%, that should automatically trigger an election within the next few months. If, like, Justin Trudeau right now, it's at 22%. Like, come on. And I understand the MPs who are voting on this are MPs that people voted in, but they haven't voted them in for a while. Things have changed. A lot of people who voted for these liberal MPs are going to vote for conservative MPs this time, and they want to do it now before these liberals keep making mistakes. A lot of people think they're just making mistakes. They're incompetent. I think they know they're exactly what they're doing. They're destroying the country on purpose. You know why they're doing that? Because the more people who are physically, mentally ill or just poverty stricken because of the rent prices and that we're not making enough money. Eventually, we're all going to be poor if this keeps up. Well, what happens if everyone's poor? We need the government. And now the government has more power and more control than ever. And that's what they want. The more poor people are, the more sick people are, the more that they need help. If you live in a prosperous country, then less people need help. They can't control you if that's the case. That's why they don't want us to have an election, because they know they're going to get their asses kicked. They want to continue to do what they're doing. And they will do whatever they can to stay in power. I'm not saying they're going to cheat. I'm just saying if there's a, um, if, if let's just say Pierre Polyev wins in a minority government only, he won't be prime minister. The other parties at that point could go to uh, Mary Simon, who is the attorney general or governor general, governor general of Canada, rather. And she could essentially stop Pierre Polyev from being prime minister, uh, therefore leaving Justin Trudeau in power. Now, it looks like, thankfully, if we go over to polling Canada, let me just go back here. And sorry about that, just being a little bit slow here. So yeah, I mean, the Conservatives are projected to get 220 seats. I think it's going to be much more than that. But even if even if they get, as long as they get 172, which is the majority, they can't be stopped. So that's important. Like, that's very important to know because yes, the Liberals, the Bloc, the NDP, and the Greens will probably team up and try to stop that from happening if Pierre Polyev only wins a minority. But thankfully, he will likely win a majority. And by the time this time, by the time October of 2025 comes around, when things are going to be even worse. It's not getting better. So by the time things get even worse, these numbers for the conservatives are probably going to go up. I think personally, they're going to have around 240 to 250. I know that's kind of a bold prediction, but you know, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think as well. Do you think that, that I'm, that I'm right? Do you think that they'll somehow get even more or less, or do you think the 220 is accurate? Uh, let me know what you think. But uh, the one thing we do need to know, the reason why I really wanted to make this video is because we apparently have 211 traders, not just 11, because that's what they are. Most Canadians clearly want an election. They're denying it. They're traitors to us. So when you voted them in, these, these MPs in office, just keep in mind, if you want to vote conservative now, the people you voted for, the Liberals, the NDP, are stopping you from basically changing your mind. So just keep that in mind the next time we do have an election. 
even if Pierre Polyev isn't as good as he says he was, just remember what the liberals and the NDP are doing to you right now. They're not just destroying your lives in the country, they're keeping you from changing it. And that's not fair because we are supposed to be the bosses. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. What do you think about these 211 traders? Uh, apparently, Pierre Polyev is going to bring forward another motion of confidence. I don't know when that is. I think it's going to be next week or something like that. But again, we'll see how that goes. I don't think it's it's probably going to be the same exact result, right? Something neat, big needs to happen for the NDP or the bloc to basically vote with the conservatives on this. And it's not happening yet. But I do see it happening once Jagmeet Singh gets his pension. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, please also don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day. I'll be back shortly with a new video.